In this short video, we will look at solving ODs using Laplace transforms. So we start off with the OD in the time domain and it is very difficult or literally more difficult to in, uh, integrate the equation in the time domain. So if I apply Laplace transforms to it with initial conditions, you get an expression in the Laplace domain. It's a complex fraction. Uh, the goal is to invert the complex fraction to get the time domain expression for the variable, the integrated expression for the variable. So we need to simplify the Laplace transform. So use partial fraction expansion. Partial fraction expansion essentially breaks up the Laplace transform into portions that can be inverted by just looking at a Laplace transform table with common uh, functions and then you use uh, like I said inverse Laplace transform using tables. We will look at a concrete example this is second order uh, ODE y double dot plus 2y dot plus 17y equal to the step function y dot of 0 is 1 y of 0 is 0 these are the initial conditions two initial conditions for second order system. You Laplace transform the entire equation and the Laplace transform y double dot is s squared y of s minus s y of 0 minus y dot of 0. Laplace transform y dot is s y of s minus y evaluated at 0. And Laplace transform y of t is y of s. Laplace transform of the step function is 1 divided by s. And you substitute the initial conditions y of 0 is 0, y dot of 0 is 1 an expression for y of s like so. Now we cannot look this up on a Laplace table and invert it directly and therefore we use partial fraction expansion. The first step is to examine the roots of the denominator. The denominator is given by s times s squared plus 2s plus 17. Um, s is a real root with multiplicity is 1. s squared plus 2s plus 17 is a complex root with multiplicity 1. How do you know that is complex root? You just do b squared minus 4ac. So b squared is uh, 2 squared. 4ac is 4 times 17 times 1. So that's definitely less than 0. Therefore this is has complex roots. Now since we have complex roots for this polynomial we need to complete the squares. So s squared plus 2s plus 17 can be rewritten as s squared plus 2 times 1 times s plus 1 plus 17 minus 1. So essentially this portion here s squared plus 2s plus 1 ends up being s plus 1 the whole squared. 17 minus 1 is 16 that is 4 squared. So this is s plus 1 the whole squared plus 4 squared. s plus a the whole squared plus omega squared. So a equal to 1, omega equal to 4. Now you write the generic form of the partial fraction. Since there is a real root multiplicity 1, it contributes one term. Complex root contributes two special terms. Now this term here, s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 the whole squared plus 4 squared, is the Laplace transform of e to the power of minus 1t cos 4t. And similarly, this term here, here, 4 divided by s plus 1 the whole square plus 4 squared is the Laplace transform of e to the power of minus 1t times sine 4t. Now we go ahead and solve these coefficients. Um, for solving for e, uh, the real root with multiplicity 1, we multiply the entire left and right hand side with the denominator of a which is s and evaluate both expressions for s equal to 0. If we do that multiplication this s cancels with this, this s cancels with this s, you end up with the s here, end up with an s here. If you evaluate both these expressions at s equal to 0, there is, this thing drops out, this thing drops out, therefore a equal to 1 divided by 17. For solving b and c, uh, the complex roots with multiplicity 1, uh, there is no other option but to use brute force. Uh, so 
we multiply throughout by the common denominator like so the common denominator being 17 s times s squared plus 2 s plus 17 so if you multiply throughout left hand side you get 17 times 1 plus s this 1 becomes s squared plus 2 s plus 17 this term becomes 17 times bs times s plus 1 and this 4c becomes 17 times 4cs now equating coefficients of s this is a 17 times s here this is 1 times 2s 17 b s times 1 17 times 4 c s so the coefficients are 17 times 4 c 17 times b 2 and here 17 that's one equation equating coefficients of s squared you can get if you look here is 17 times b times s squared is an s squared here and there's no s squared on the left hand side so the left hand side is 0 right hand side is 17 b plus 1 if you solve you get b equal to minus 1 divided by 17 substitute this in this equation right here and so you get c equal to 4 by 17 and inverting the Laplace transform this is the Laplace transform with the coefficient substituted and if we invert it this is what you get 1 divided by 17 times s gives you 1 divided by 17 unit step this thing is e to the power of minus 1t times sine 4t this is e to the power of minus 1t times cos 4t this whole thing and that's the solution